Hi, I'm Mark from Kicker, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use the Filter Hand Histories feature in Kicker. So before we get to the Filter Hand Histories, it's just worth briefly going through where the Hand Histories come into use within Kicker. There are a few places. So firstly, within the Hand History Summary, which uh, there is a separate video for, but this is where you can determine what your opening ranges are, what your calling ranges are, what your raising ranges are based on certain positions and stack sizes and so forth. There is also the 5-bet shove call analyzer, which is where you can put in a hand and then you can determine how often that hand is good, what kind of equity that hand has against the kind of hands that opponents in your player pool would uh, make a 5-bet shove with. There's the pre-flop player pool tendencies, which is where you can have a look at what the opening frequency is from certain positions for players in the player pool, what the responses are from either overall or from certain positions. You can also put uh, limit sizes in, so you know for opening from, from certain uh, numbers of big blinds pre-flop. Uh, and you can also have a look at the hands that actually got to showdown. That were opened with or called or raised with in certain positions. We have the flop player pool tendencies which is where you can have a look at and also compare and contrast um, the effect of different bet sizes on the flop. So you can see the, the players call, raise and fold tendencies based on bet sizes based on textures of flops. And then finally we have the river player pool tendencies feature which is the ability for you effectively to be able to determine how often players are value betting versus bluffing on the river by looking at the equity of the hands that they bet with. All of those features I've just rattled through require the use of hand histories, hand histories that you will have um, imported using the import hand histories feature. Now you can see from here that I am currently logged in as MarkTest456 and I have nearly 2 million hand histories that I've imported that are being filtered. This is what the filter hand history screen looks like. So in the top section we've got all the tournaments in the blue and white stripe section and in the green and white stripe section we've got all the cash games that uh, we have imported and filtered. At the moment there are actually no filters applied, it's literally got all of the hands. But let's say we wanted to just look at a certain type of cash game. So I'm going to turn all the tournament hands off just by clicking the all off button there. And you can see it turns the checkboxes next to all of these different tournament types that we've imported all off. And I'm going to turn all of the cash games off. And then I'm going to sort the cash games by the total number of hands available for the game type. And I'm going to just turn on Poker Stars, regular, six max, US dollars, small blind two, big blind five cents, with no ante. So I'm now just filtering on this specific game type. If I hit OK, you'll see that straight away I'm only filtering on these 375,000 hands rather than the nearly 2 million hands that I was filtering on previously. So now if we go to the pre-flop 5-bet shove analyzer and do the analyze, that's now only looking at the hands that were 2 cent, 5 cent regular um, poker stars, 6 max. Same sort of thing here. And then you can see that this is just filtered now on those game types that we've specifically filtered on. So what you're getting is a, is a more focused set of information about the player pool from the two cent, five cent poker star six max player pool, rather than it being mixed in with all kinds of data from other hands that were played at other levels and on other sites and with different numbers of players. PC. We've got all of this information now just at that level. Same thing with the flop player pool tendencies. Again, that's now just filtering it based on um, what we filtered it down to. And, and the same, it's the same for everything else. Everything else that might use hand histories is going to only use the ones that you've filtered on. The filtering on here takes a number of different forms. So if we just turn everything off again in this filter, you can see you've got the sites. So if you want, you can turn off a specific site. So I've, I've turned the filters for everything off now by default. If I now get rid of poker stars, now what we're looking at, both in tournaments and in cash, is just um, 888 because the, these data sets that I've uh, imported include hands from both poker stars and 888. 
So now if I turn on all the 888 cash games, come back to here, got 111,000 hands. They are all 888 hands now. Come back in here, let's turn everything off again. You can also do it based on the maximum number of players. So for example, let's say we only wanted to look at nine max hands. So we just set the minimum and maximum number of players to nine. You can see suddenly all of the hand types that are filtered here are all nine max. And if we now turn them all on and then say, okay, come back here, we've got 365,000 hands and these will all be nine max hands. So if we go to the analyzer, just change that to nine and then do the analyze. And you can see pocket jacks has 39% equity when you're nine handed. Go to the pre-flop, change that to nine, to the data from the chart, and you can see again this is this is all now looking at nine max hands. You can see obviously you've got the you've got all the different uh, positions under the gun and so forth, you know, more than when we were looking at six max earlier on. And the same for all of the others. You can also do the filtering based on the, the if you're looking at tournaments, the tournament buy-in, minimum and maximum. By default, it's just set to zero and a massive number, so it includes all the tournaments, but you can filter that down. You can also filter the cash games based on minimum and maximum big blinds. So let's say we just wanted to say we don't want anything higher than five cent big blinds, then that will filter it down. And um, You can also filter on dates. So if you wanted the earliest date from the hands to be filtered, say, last week, you can update the date there and then hit update date and it will just pull through all of the hands that are from that date onwards. And in that way, you can use all of these features of Kicker with pretty much any filter that you decide to apply. So you can import all of your hands and then if you just want to focus on tournament hands or just want to focus on six max poker stars with an ante, you can do all of that. It allows you to filter it down to um, pretty much any level that you want.